cash payment. Yeah, please. When it comes to the Defense Production Act, we know that governors across the country all day today were pleading with you to, utif to utilize the DPA, well, saying that they which, need it specifically for about. that allocation piece that you mentioned, Mr. Navarro. Okay. Why not use it now if that would answer their pleas for help? Well, we are using it now. The fact that I signed it, it's in effect. But, you know, we're a country not based on nationalizing our business. Uh, uh, call a person over in Venezuela, ask them how did nationalization of their businesses work out? Not too well. Uh, the concept of nationalizing our business is not a good concept, but I'll, I'll tell you why, as Peter said, we may have to use it someplace along the chain, but we're getting calls. Here's the beauty of it. If we go out and we want, let's say, masks, we don't know who to call on masks, but Haynes, who makes things of cotton, various elements, lots of things, it's a great company, they called us and they said, we're going to make millions of masks. We got a call today from 3M. There's a big article today, the head of 3M. They're going to make tremendous products and they're more or less in that business. And if they're not, like for instance, General Motors spoke to us, Ford spoke to us about doing uh, ventilators. Uh, the beauty is they're calling us. Uh, if you go the national route, nationalization route, we're going to tell a company to make a ventilator. They don't even know what a ventilator is. In the case of one company, they used to make them years ago, and they know how to make them. You know, it's a very complex piece of equipment, frankly. So what we're doing is, I think Peter said it may be better than anybody's going to say it. We have the threat of doing it if we need it. We may have to use it somewhere along the supply chain in a minor way. But we have millions of masks being done. We have respirators. We have ventilators. We have a lot of things happening right now. So just the threat of using it. but. Using it's actually a big deal. I mean, when this was announced, it sent uh, tremors through our business community and through our country. Because basically, what are you doing? You're talking about, you're gonna nationalize an industry, or you're gonna nationalize, you're gonna take away companies, you're gonna tell companies what to do. And the truth is, most people, nobody would know where to start. There are companies out there that you wouldn't think of that have called us that say, we can do ventilators, we used to do them years ago and they can do them in large quantities. Other companies, if I call companies and say, you build ventilators, they don't even know what a ventilator is. So it's really working out very well. One of the reasons I read the numbers to you is because we've given uh, vast numbers of just about everything. We've taken it out of our supply, out of our supply, and we're restocking our supply. But we're really backing up the governors. The governors have to go out, do their things. And you have a lot of governors, they've done a fantastic job. You have some that haven't. Usually it's the ones that complain that have the problems. But we've had a great relationship, as an example, with Governor Cuomo, with Governor Newsom. Uh, we've had a great relationship with the state of Washington. Those are three hotbeds. Those are three hotbeds. Now, we're also dealing with other states. As uh, the Admiral said yesterday, we're dealing with all of the states, actually, in one form or another. Some are very uh, affected in a very minor way, where you have two people or three people and I don't even mean deaths, I mean literally cases. Um, and that's different than New York where you have, you know, tremendous